there, Mr. Neff. Working pretty late, aren't you, Mr. Neff? Good enough. Let's ride. You look kind of all in at that. I'm fine. How is the insurance business, Mr. Neff? Okay. They wouldn't ever sell me any. They said I had something loose in my heart. <laughs> I say it's rheumatism. Yeah? Twelve. Office memorandum. Walter Neff to Barton Keyes, claims manager. Los Angeles, July 16th, 1938. Dear Keyes, suppose you'll call this a confession when you hear it. Well, I don't like the word confession. I just want to set you right about something you couldn't see because it was smack up against your nose. You think you're such a hot potato as a claims manager, such a wolf on a phony claim. Maybe you are. But let's take a look at that Dietrichson claim. Accident in double indemnity. You were pretty good in there for a while, Keyes. You said it wasn't an accident. Check. You said it wasn't suicide. Check. You said it was murder. Check. You thought you had a cold, didn't you? All wrapped up in tissue paper with pink ribbons around it. It was perfect. Except it wasn't because you made one mistake. Just one little mistake. When it came to picking the killer, you picked the wrong guy. You want to know who killed Dietrichson? Hold tight to that cheap cigar of yours, Keys. I killed Dietrichson. Me, Walter Neff. Insurance salesman. 35 years old, unmarried, no visible scars. Until a while ago, that is. Yes, I killed him. I killed him for money, and for a woman. And I didn't get the money, and I didn't get the woman. Pretty, isn't it? It all began last May. Around the end of May, it was. I'd been out to Glendale to deliver a policy on some dairy trucks. On the way back, I remembered this auto renewal near Los Feliz Boulevard, so I drove over there. It was one of those California Spanish houses everyone was nuts about 10 or 15 years ago. This one must have cost somebody about 30,000 bucks. That is, if he ever finished paying for it. Is uh, Mr. Dietrichson in? Who wants to see him? The name is Neff, Walter Neff. 
If you're selling something... Look, it's Mr. Dedrickson I want to talk to. And it's not magazine subscription. Listen, Mr. Dedrickson is not in. How soon do you expect him? He'll be home when he gets here, if that's any help to you. What is it, Nettie? Who is it? It's for Mr. Dedrickson. I'm Mrs. Dedrickson. What is it? How do you do, Mr. Dedrickson? I'm Walter Nett, Pacific All Risk. Pacific All what? The Pacific All Risk Insurance Company. It's about some renewals on the automobiles. I've been trying to contact your husband for the past two weeks, but he's never in his office. Is there anything I can do? The insurance ran out on the 15th. I'd hate to think of you having a smashed fender or something while you're not uh, fully covered. Perhaps I know what you mean, Mr. Neff. I've just been taking a sun bath. No pigeons around, I hope. Uh, now, about those policies, Mr. Dedrickson, I hate to take up your time, but... Oh, that's all right. If you wait till I put something on, I'll be right down. Nettie, show Mr. Neff into the living room. Where would the living room be? In there, but they keep the liquor locked up. It's all right, I'll just carry my own keys. The living room was still stuffy from last night's cigars. The windows were closed and the sunshine coming in through the Venetian blind showed up the dust in the air. On the piano in a couple of fancy frames were Mr. Dietrichson and Lola, his daughter by his first wife. They had a bowl of those little red goldfish on the table behind the big Davenport. But to tell you the truth, Keys, I wasn't a whole lot interested in goldfish right then. Or in auto renewals or in Mr. Dedrickson and his daughter, Lola. I was thinking about that dame upstairs and the way she had looked at me. And I wanted to see her again, close. Without that silly staircase between us. I wasn't long, was I? Not at all, Mrs. Dedrickson. Hope I've got my face on straight. Perfect for my money. Neff is the name, isn't it? Yeah, two Fs, like in Philadelphia, if you know the story. What story? Philadelphia story. Suppose we sit down and you tell me about the insurance. My husband never tells me anything. Well, it's on your two cars, the uh, LaSalle and the Plymouth. 